As you move your stethoscope across the precordium, the first thing you'll want to do is differentiate between systole and diastole. As you first start out, this might be a difficult skill to learn, but this is easily accomplished by palpating the right carotid pulse as you auscultate and comparing this with the sounds you hear with your stethoscope. As you palpate the carotid pulse, remember that each carotid upstroke coincides with one cardiac cycle, and therefore also one systole-diastole cycle. The first sound you hear before the carotid upstroke is S1, and the sound following the carotid upstroke is the S2. Let's slow this down a bit. You'll want to time each carotid upstroke or pulse to each sound you hear. The sound you hear before the carotid upstroke is S1, and the sound you hear after is S2. For experienced providers, this might not be very difficult or even necessary for simple sounds. However, for those of you new to auscultation, figuring out when systole and diastole occur is an absolute prerequisite before you start identifying murmurs and extra heart sounds. Take this sound for example. You hear the rhythmic alternating of sounds, but which is S1 and S2? If you were to palpate the carotid and feel an upstroke here, then you would label this S1, since it's before the upstroke and this S2, given it is after the upstroke. In this sound, there's a murmur, but is it systolic or diastolic? By identifying S1 and S2, you can narrow the murmur as either being systolic or diastolic, and from there, narrow your differential diagnoses as to what might be causing the murmur. In this case, the carotid upstroke is felt here, then this would be S1, and this S2, making this a diastolic murmur.